Folks, we got incredible access for you tonight as Drew Brees chases history and wears the Monday Night Mike. Thank you, Lucky, brother. Thank you, Coach. Congratulations on everything, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tonight is about us. It's about us. Hell yeah. Y'all hear me all right? All good? Hear me good? Good. He's 51 yards away from passing Brett Favre as number two all time in NFL history for passing yards and 153 away from Peyton Manning. The numbers are staggering. After that first drive, Joe, I'd say he's well on pace. Yes, <laughs> he's on I schedule. Would say. You know, guys, the most amazing thing about this record is when you look at his physical stature, I stood next to Drew Brees at practice the other day, and I'm six feet tall. Drew Brees is not an inch over five foot ten. So for a guy 5'10 to throw for the most yards in the NFL history, to me, that's an amazing feat. Hopkins to kick away after the Skins just had to settle for a field goal when it was first and goal at the Saints five. Well, these are the totals when it comes to the big three. And Brees, if everything stays the course, should soon be number one there. 71,940 yards. What is that, about nearly 41 miles of completed passes? <laughs> Peyton Manning. <laughs> 153 away now. We could have history on this drive. He could move into number two all time, 51 yards away from passing Brett Favre. And of course, lives just a short drive away. And Cameron Meredith gets the reception there, brought down by Quentin Dunbar. He gets the ball out so quick. He has the play action game. He loves it in the empty. And he has a running game. Uh, is it? two different guys in lightning and thunder that they can attack with. So he's always in command. You see him communicating with his linemen. You see him in practice, the routine, the schedule. He just does it the right way, Joe. I think he's happy to have thunder back in there. There's number 22, Mark Ingram. Dot in the eye with Zach Line, the fullback. And here is Ingram. As he has wrestled down after five. You're going to see Mark Ingram running up inside and making the defense feel him. And then he comes back. Sean Payton draws it up with a screen play. You're always thinking about Kamara on the outside. But they do it with Ingram. And then the touchdown right in the A cap. The power, the physicality that he brings. This combo. And like I said, he loves playing football. He met the team at the charter site. And he's playing some of his best football out of that backfield the last couple years. I think that's a great statement after the game against the Giants. He said, as soon as it's after midnight, I'm going to be waiting for my guys. Not sure I'd have done that, though. <laughs> Here's Breeze as on the shallow cross is Kamara. Five more yards towards history. And then you bring this guy in the game. And they're playing cover two, and it's just a choice route out of the backfield for Kamara. And he's isolated on a linebacker, Zach Brown. And Drew sees that pre-snap. He knows exactly where he wants to go. Josh Norman actually came off pretty quickly, but, you know, timing and execution. I talked about how quickly Drew sees the field, and he gets it in his playmaker's hands in a hurry. Ingram straight ahead and wrapped up by Zach Brown. Joe, these guys have roles. Mark Ingram is a physical runner, but they want to run him inside, the inside zone, the one-back power. Now that he's back, you're going to see a lot of those runs with him. As far as Kamara, he's a guy that wants to get outside, the screen, the swing passes. They want to get that young man in space. Great game plan by Sean Payton. We come to the end of the first quarter. It was Ingram who struck first at the two-yard touchdown run. 39 yards away from far down here at the Mercedes-Benz Superdome is Drew Brees. Love makes you do crazy things, like sneaking the triple-double crunch wrap into the theater with double the layers you love. Careful, that double crunch may land you in movie jail. The $5 triple-double crunch wrap box from Taco Bell. Can you tell me your name, please? My name is LeBron James. 
Shaquille O'Neal. Kobe Bryant. Julius Irvin. Irvin Magic Johnson. I didn't choose it. It chose me. ESPN's Monday Night Football is brought to you by GMC. Live like a pro. December 2011, Falcons Saints. That's when Breeze eclipsed Dan Marino's NFL record for passing yards in a season at 5,476. A couple years later, Manning would go one yard better. It was a great night for these home fans. Back then, they took that jersey from that night and put it in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And representatives from the Hall of Fame are here tonight awaiting the jersey and the football. But still work to be done in a critical game in the NFC right now. If you consider the way things are shaking out, especially considering the NFC East for the skins. Ball is down and Ingram quick to recover on it. That was Deron Payne at 319 pounds who was crashing home on the fellow Alabama alum. Just the dancing bear, man. The, the guy making moves, coming from the inside out, feeling the screen, not just being a blind dog in a meat house and running everywhere. He feels the offensive lineman, goes to the screen and makes a play, an athletic play. Nice job there by Payne. Great awareness by the big guy, Bug. Yes. He's really coming into his own. You know how big physical he is inside? But seeing him play that way on screen plays, that's rare. Second and 18. Breeze with plenty of time, comes to the near side to Carr, and Carr makes his way to the 49. You know, they, they drafted Deron Payne this year, and they teamed him up with Jonathan Allen, who they drafted last year. He missed 11 games. So essentially, they have two number one picks, the Bama boys inside, and they're making a difference, not only with their physicality in the run game, but their athletes. They can chase, just as Deron Payne did on the screen play. But they've got to find a way to bring some pressure. Drew Brees, with that type of time, you know, Greg Minuski, the defensive coordinator, he cannot expect this, that front four, to hit home. Typically, you get that from Ryan Kerrigan when it comes to the quarterback pressure. They do bring in the extra man, and they get to him. And guess who it is? Ryan Kerrigan with his first sack as a flag comes in late. Guy who's had 47 sacks since 2014. His first of this year. After the play was over, unnecessary roughness, number 35, defense. 15 yards will be added to the end of the play. Automatic. First down. That was the safety, Monte Nicholson, who was coming in on the blitz. Yeah, they decided to bring some pressure. Mark Ingram was late getting there on the play. You can see him, though, when he pushes Mark Ingram off that. You can't do that. Play's over. He's down. See him? They're going to call that every time. He went right over the top of Kerrigan and just such a silly, silly penalty to get after Kerrigan comes up so big for Jay Brudenstein. 
Well, that's just something you can't do. This is the second drive that the Redskins have committed a penalty that allowed the Saints to keep going on their drive. Remember the Josh Norman penalty he was holding earlier. Now you get the personal foul. The Redskins are hurting themselves, guys. Timeout taken by the Saints. We saved hundreds on our car insurance when we switched to GEICO. This is how it made me feel. It was like that feeling when you're mowing the lawn on a sunny day, and without even trying, you end up with one last strip that's exactly the width of your mower. When you're done, it looks so good, you post a picture on social media. And it gets 127 likes. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Hey, it's iPhone season at Sprint, and that means you can get the amazing new iPhone XS. And it has a 5.8-inch Super Retina OLED display. Now that's a reason to party! Wait! And did you know it's on a network built for Unlimited? iPhone! There's never been a better time to try our network, so switch to Sprint and we'll give you a new iPhone XS to use with eligible...